That's a great way to start the fucking stream. Are you ready to, to do our stream opening? Yeah. Ready. <laughs> We're sorry for everyone who just went deaf. Headphone users avert your eyes! Or your headphones. So Shimon, who's the dapper man in the background? That's that's Jacob Fry. I'm gonna go and you go mute the stream because We've been streaming for twenty five minutes already. Wow! The oh. thing accelerates really fast in here, that's why you've got like a wizened old beard and shit. I, I got myself a wizard beard. I'm gonna call myself Gandalf the Gay. <laughs> I thought, wait, I thought Ian McKellen was Gandalf the Gay. <laughs> Listen, me and Ian can take fucking shotsies, alright? Shotsies at what? Being the gay one! Oh, right, I thought you were trying to say something about him and his husband. I was like, you don't want to take shots with his husband. He doesn't have a husband. Really? Can somebody find out if Ian McKellen has a husband for me? He does now. Can you find out? No. Do you have your phone on you? No. Why? Right. Here's the thing. Why are, you, why are you never prepared for our streams? It's almost like you don't care. Because it's... I didn't listen to that song from Lion King today. I'm sorry. No, the one that's called "Be Prepared, You Tit." Oh. Wow. I was. I for some reason I was going to be like. I started off. I just can't wait to be king, and went into under the sea. Yeah, I. I'm not gonna lie. I did the same thing. Under the sea. Okay. So what, what are we doing? Do? I don't know, you've played this game, I haven't. Who the fuck is a Lambeth gang leader Cleus Strain actor? Well, we're in Lambeth. This that's the that's borough of London that's that we're in. in London. So would we should we go do bounty hunt, which means that we'll and then we can fight that cunt. Yeah. We can do a gang fight. Yeah, so we can jolly our lads in. <laughs> So tell me about this game. Uh you murder people. <laughs> Tell me something about this game that I'm not already aware of. It looks really fucking pretty, right? Like, um, I re I wanted this as soon as I noticed that it was. Sorry, I just. How the fuck did you just do that? Uh, a zip line off the top of the church down to the building on the opposite side. Duh. Wait, what the fuck are you doing? Fuck. You're all like, oh, I'm so good at Assassin's Creed. Let me stream it and show everyone how good I am. I never I said that. I was like, hey, what do you want to play? And you were like, your you're like, I don't know. Silly boy parts around the fucking map. Yeah, I know. I was like, you want what you want to stream, and you were like, oh, you want to play some Assassin's Creed, and I was like, yeah, I've been enjoying that. Running around Victorian London is pretty fucking bomb ass. I'm enjoying myself. Yeah, bitch. I'd just like to point out, nobody uses the term bomb ass anymore unless you're talking about a particularly bomb ass. Tally ho! Like you just don't stop and you plummet face first into the fucking chimney and kill yourself. Yeah. So Siobhan, why don't you tell all the people who are watching either alive or on the YouTubes about how much fun you had last time trying to play this game. And dying a lot. Oh, wait. Did I tell you about that? I was there. Were you? Yeah. Were you though? Yeah, you died a lot. Which time though? I don't know, I remember there was a bit with the train that you did, and then you had the train oh, and then you got right. beat. No, you're on you about got a different beaten up time. in the head by that guy on the roof. You're on about a different time. Oh, so I... you've been shit at this game twice now. Well, I was really shit at a bit, and I think I went at it at too low a level. Um, I, I did it eventually, but I kept fucking getting the murder. Like, getting the hefty murder, and I was getting fucking ticked off with it, right? Like you do. Like, you get ticked off with a hefty murder, you know what I mean? Entering blighter territory. Oh cool, go and stab Mildred, um, strategy bring her back alive. How the fuck do you kidnap a bitch? Come here, Wanker. Just You're wolf. attracting both of them. That's okay, just wolf whistle slot them until they come hither. That guy's like, does somebody find me and my good. knife attractive? Come here, sexy! Yes. How did she not notice the very obvious man leaping out Come of here, the... I like your jacket. Where did your hat go? When I'm in sneak mode, I put up my hood and I take off my hat. Yeah, but where did you put the hat? In my fucking pocket! It's a top hat, it doesn't fit in a fucking pocket. 
Good throw. I know, right? Oh, I might have hallucinogenic darts. Well, that sucks. Alexander Graham Bell gave me hallucinogenic darts, and I know that that sounds like a fucking drug, fucking fueled fantasy, right? But it actually happened in real life, not in the game in real life. Why don't you just attack them with your hallucinogenic fart? <clears throat> um, I don't think that that would, you know... I'm too far away to hit him, aren't I? Yeah. Bitch. Where's the bitch? I could hit that bitch right in the bitch tits. Oh, he has a gun! Wow. So have you tried to completely do this pacifist yet? Well, of course not, because you're- You just stabbed her in the vagoblin. <laughs> hmm. Just imagine, right? You're walking around in your dapperest outfit, and suddenly a throwing knife collides with your vagu. How would you feel? Fucking sick. Sick like the kind that Tony Hawk would feel, or sick like the kind that- the inside of a toilet would feel. The inside of a toilet. I would feel like the inside of a toilet. Yeah, and that's Instead what of just smelling like one. Oh. And that's what I'm going to tell all my friends. I like how you whistled at that guy when Mildred McMildred stood right in front of you. Let me go! I promise I'll speak to my sister! Oh, fuck off, you whack shite. Come here. You fucking leapt out in front of her and stabbed her accompaniment. Oh, oh I thought you were just going to get assassinated. I don't want to have to fucking fight you, you whack. Come back. Hey, where's this crazy bitch? She leaves. Home! Oh, Mildred! Come back home! I wonder if this was a more common sight in these times than, uh, than it is nowadays. She's gonna leave the area. Now she's Hello. entering the area again. Tackle the bitch! Come here. You just leapt upon her like a fucking... Hi! We're fast friends now, aren't we? Hi! What are you he just said hi to you. What hi! You Stuart says, oh, quiet now. Loon Doon also hi. Hi, Stuart. I hey, Stuart. Anything, I hi, Stu. Hi, Stu. Hi. Why what do you keep saying doing? hi in your ear like that? What did oh, you say? Yeah. Quiet now. Oh, it oh, would I be wise wise to keep quiet. Those black rides in the hi. Yeah, Why doesn't she what just, like, doing? straighten out her arm again and give him a slap? Quiet now. Why didn't Hush. she just yell at him? Get fucking restrained, bitch. Stop being a dick. Hey! What are you he says, doing? Also, the what did you game say? when the quiet now. All Hush. things are happening. Music. I haven't done anything. I promise. Then drowns out both your voice. Oh, you need to turn down the in-game game volume oh. because it's coming through the TV. All right. How could you forget about us? Um, I'm bad at games. If oh, it doesn't have like a master volume. It's okay. Music volume. I'm gonna leave the voice volume there. You should put the sound effects volume down as well, because that's things like the pinging sound when you get caught, which can go pretty loud. There we go. Subtitles are on anyway. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for the heads up, Stubert. Thanks for the stews up, Hedrin. Hedbert. Headbert. Oh, oh shit, they're on you. Ah! It's like GTA. Yeah. Shit, I was gonna say GTA London, but that's actually the game. Is it? Yeah, it's an old one. From like the PS1. This is Grand Theft Horse Carriage. Yeah. Fucking yeah. get out of the way, horse, you bastard! Yeah. This is welcome. Welcome to what, yeah. Stuart? Mm -hmm. Are you trying to kidnap us? No! Don't do that! Oh shit, you're in Limbe. Ah, uh, yeah, that's what I'm supposed to be. Is your wife called Beth? No. I, I I pressed fucking triangle to get out of this So what you're saying is your wife is not a lamb either? No. My wife is a human. I don't even have a- wait, hold on, I don't have a wife! <laughs> I like how you had to take a moment to process that yourself. <laughs> What makes, also, you what makes you think that anybody would marry this? I hear her sister is the real menace. Here. Hey, listen. Oh, cool. Frederick Aberline, loyalty level one. He is a polis man. Oh. A polis. Why are you, why are you a oh, thief taker? So now you own Lambeth, right? Yeah. 
What do you do with it? I am 100% in control of that, because I need to go and have a gang war to kill, like, the person who sort of... Don't put your nails, you fucking wank. I'm sorry. So once you've killed Cletus, once you've, once you've caught the strain of Cletus, you own Lambeth. Yeah, well, like, it's not owning, owning Lambeth. It's sort of like, come on, Rooks, let's go. They top, doff their top hats at you because they appreciate your fantastic outer doorway. Yeah, you uh, kill, like, the gang leader who sort of is in control of the area. Mm -hmm. And then... Well, you're 100% in control of the area, and you'll find very few of, like, their gang dudes wandering around. Whereas, if they control their a lot boys. of it... Yeah. Like, if they control it, like, you find way, way more of their dudes, and it can be a pain in the arse. So what you're saying is, it is in your best interests to just take over the land. Pretty much. And then you and your... your Boy buddies? Yeah, you and your, your murder pals can just, you know... Tickle each other's parts. Can just whack your willies together. <laughs> wow, I didn't want to go out there and just just say it all abrupt, like, but you, you went for it. Yeah. Also, don't whack things like that together. That probably hurts. What can I say? I, I wouldn't know. Yeah, yours is tiny. <laughs> Death by root. What? Why are they going about just killing people indiscriminately? Oh, uh, they, they'll just kill uh, members of the other gang. The bad boys. I can't remember what the other bang... Uh, of the bang? I can't remember what the other gang's fucking called anymore, to be The honest. bad boys. Uh, we're called the Rooks. So they must be called the bad boys, right? Yeah. Fight Cletus Strain's gang and conquer Lambeth. Okay. Stu says, I will repeat what I tend to say during the small amount of times I've played this game. I like Jacob style if I was an assassin. I would dress Jacob Fry style. I 100% would as well. I would dress more like Daniel Day-Lewis in Land of the Mohicans. Less than me, you can not land. <laughs> land of the Mohawks! In fact, no, I'd dress more like uh, Sam Neill in Jurassic Park. That would be my assassin attire. And my weapon would be a raptor claw. I would dress up as Jeff Goldblum. I'd just go about my daily business. <laughs> would your assassin weapon just be like tearing open your shirt and showing off your sick Jeff Goldblum ads, abs? Is yeah. this guy like seven, a foot tall? No, he stood on top of something. I was gonna he say. stood on top of a fucking wagon, you. Yeah, but I thought he was just really tall. I was like, no wonder he owns Lambeth. He's forty-eight foot tall. <laughs> Stuart says I would dress like the T-Rex from Jurassic Park. But yeah, you can't argue with that. Oh, he's about to fucking machete you. Why are these people all cheering? Oh, well, this boy doesn't like the other gangs. So oh. Like getting, oh, like getting cheered there on. There was two chimney sweep Tom kids sitting on the fucking wall. I'll fucking, push them over. It's cool. I'll fucking shank a chimney, a chimney sweep. That almost went very racist by accident. Here you said ching. <laughs> oh shit! Here he comes. What if he just tripped over and landed <laughs> on his face? Just got his face like caught. Here in we mind. go. Boom. Wow. Fight me! Ah, oh, he's fucking me cleaver you in the brain area. Watch out, you're gonna make him cross the line that says don't cross. What is wrong with you? You're not supposed to cross that line, stop pushing him into it. Or maybe, like, it's just missing a bit where it's supposed to say do not be cross, and he's clearly failing because he's in a bad mood. He's fucking deflecting you with the sharp end of his knife. You can't compete. Your knife was through his neck. This is crazy. Kill him. My hand will be through his fucking chest. Give him the actual assassination. He, he bounced off the wall. Wait. Throw your top hat in like a. Throw your top hat in like a fucking. Frisbee. Cut him in half. Like a boomerang. Like a. No, because it's not shaped like a boomerang. Oh, fucking cheap. You look a boomerang, you're wrong. That sounds oddly sexual. Please don't. Yeah. Guys, we're standing on top of this car. Listen to us. You won't work 
You're all bald what? and dumb and do what we say. I have facial hair and my name's Jacob. I've got sideburns. I must be old and English. Clay's strain is an awful disease. I'm glad you've removed it. Sorry, eliminated it. I can read words. Oh, what did I do? Oh, wow, look, you're worth 400 pounds. Yeah, I'm gonna go for I mean, even by today's standards, that's not bad money. Oh, okay. Fucking shove that shadow. Sorry, copper! <laughs> wow, just shoulder barge past the lawman. The, the, the lawnmower. Hey, lawnmower. I like how they've just given up like, nah, fuck that. I don't want to deal with that shit. Do you see how fast that man is running? He clearly has no time for us. <laughs> right, here we go. Do this it. is a mission. Kill. selection. Kill a Octavia Plum. Uh, well, I can't until I have, like... Nah, just walk right into her house and stab her in her sleep. I'm going to go to my train hideout. <laughs> How's it even a hideout? It's a fucking train. Yeah, but it's my train, and it's ran by a fucking plump Scottish lady. My favourite type of it's Scottish called Agnes, lady. I think. Is it not Agatha? I don't fucking know. Me neither, I wasn't there. I don't fucking read. Actually, I do. <laughs> uh, a piece of Eden is rumored to have involved in the restoration of King Charles the Egg. Uh, the Egg. The egg. Sir says, make sure you quote me properly, train hideout rules. No. No. I'm gonna take a sip of cola, coca. <laughs> Sometimes I despise you as a human being. Sometimes I want to lick your arms. Sometimes I want to kick you right in the cunt. See, that's why it's a bad thing that you're made of edible ice cream, because sometimes I just want to lick the ice cream. But right, then you keep telling me, no, that's killing me. Stop doing it and don't put me in a bowl. I'm a living person. I'm going to do this mission as Evie. Yeah, now I can look at a butt. It, what? Excuse me, I'm trying to look at the dog. Oh. Yes, that dog has a fuzzy butt. My name's Blake. Na, na, na. Na, na. <laughs> My name's Blake. <laughs> I love the maturity of like kids' arguments like that. Like oh. when two of them are arguing, and one's like, "My name's the other kid's name." Na, 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 na. It's like. Just on my way out, actually. Wow, are you? You're gonna look Eden. back in your twenties and be so proud of yourself for that one. You can just fucking punch him in the throat, but no, kids have to use their words. They're dangerous objects, kids have words, especially in Templar hands. Oh, you sound exactly <laughs> like. Bob. For anyone who couldn't see, I just looked at Siobhan and stuck my middle finger up because I didn't have a response. We were gonna talk about our favorite older games on this stream. She's Derek's expert in the occult. Were we not doing that in the last one? And then we got sidetracked by actually Bruce doing demos. Yeah. Yeah. Because the fucking Resident Evil one spooked the crap out of us. I fucking died. Fun fact. Also, I had like a mild heart attack while fucking editing some of the spooky types of jump scare stuff. Yeah. I, I got a couple of jump scares from watching it, even though like one of the two that screamed was me. Yeah. It's like... Uh, sometimes I wish I was less of a spooked person. The contents of that box are What's worth more box? than your life and those of your Sorry, I thought it was my phone and I was like, what? Do you understand? Yes, Mr. So, um, Siobhan, did you play any of the old consoles? Because the you didn't have a lot of them, but what was what was the first console you had? If you'll just PS1. come this way. Very well. And what games did you originally quick. get for it? Uh, I had, like, the two Harry Potter games there. Yeah, it is, after it's in mm -hmm. that chest. Uh, yeah, like, the Yu-Gi-Oh! card game for PS1. Can you dispose of them before I, I reach the cart? Yeah. I was hoping for a challenge. Uh, like, the first two Raymans. Good choice. Uh, I was going to say Ratchet and Clank. That wasn't for the PS1, but also I didn't have the first one. But, like, fucking Spyro. Spyro the Dragon. Dragon. For Spyro the Dragonfly. Spyro, Year of the Dragon. There we go. First console that I ever had was a Sega Mega Drive. Ah. And for it, I had games like Vector Man, Sonic, Sonic 2, Afterburner, Road Rash. They were all games. That man is aware of your position. That's a lady. 
No, I mean the man. I didn't sneak very well. In the window, the man. Shit. You got to search that lady's chest. Yeah, yeah. It's funny. PS1 is my baby, but the PS2 is my favorite child, so sweet. Yeah. Um, I had a lot of like really enjoyable, silly games on the Mega Drive, like Lemmings. That was a funny game. But See, I was like, bad I, never, I never had any of those. Um, Does that mean that you missed things like the N64, didn't you? Yeah, I never had an Nintendo console on the Wii U. Not the Wii U, the Wii. Wow. Say, when did you get a Wii U? I don't have a Wii U. I should get a Wii U. You should, because the Wii U is a console that has games. Nintendo, if you want to give me a Wii U. Yeah, sponsor us and let us have a Wii U and we'll play everything because, you know, you're about to release The Legend of Zelda You're about game. to release, you know, Naked Link Simulator. Everyone's favorite simulator. Yeah. Well, y'all get to be naked and run a Gandalf and play with Link and then you can be all like, mm, yeah, that's what I want. You say Gandalf? Ganondorf? Oh, in that accent it sounded like you said Gandalf. Yeah. Mm-hmm, let's run a Gandalf with a little stick shower. So, for the PS1, I had games such as Resident Evil 1. That was a good game. Spooky, though. Uh, didn't actually have Resident Evil 2, I had to borrow that off my friend, but I had I... Resident Evil 3. I never played a Resident Evil game until you and I played some, uh... Six. Yeah, six. That, mean, that means that you miss out on the ever-amazing Resident Evils 1, 2, and 3, the ridiculously good Resident Evil 4, the really not-so-great Resident Evil 5, and you've only played a little bit of kind-of-okay Resident Evil 6. Yeah. As well as all the like in betweens and in and out burgers and stuff. Uh, Stu says, I've got a Wii U, just thought I'd throw that out there. So, what Stu's saying there is he's gonna give us his Wii U. What Stu's saying is, hey guys, do you want this console that I don't use? Thanks for taking it off of my hands, buddies. All he requires in payment is one compliment Stu is beautiful. That is a magnificent set of eyebrows you have there, Stu. How did you. I mean, did you grow those yourself? I did. Actually, uh, for anybody who does not, uh, does not aware, is not aware, we have a dog uh, yeah, that is making noises. He's got his paw against a bag and is making noises, but he's also trying to sleep and it's adorable because he looks like a loaf of bread. He's just a clump. Press triangle to quickly shot highlighted enemies. They're chasing after you because you stole their marbles. They're... You stole their legendary god cards. That man just ended up inside that thing with you. Yeah. But I think he didn't. Well. Oh shit, you it's... gave him the shoot. Well, no, they're really angry because I threw their pieces of Exodia off of the... Uh... <laughs> off of the ship. Yeah, off of the ship. <laughs> and Joey had to dive in and get them, but Joey can't even swim! I didn't realize that you were a Weevil Underwood. Uh, excuse me, I think you'll find that I'm Weevil now. I go by Weevil. Weevil? Weevil Underwood. Weevil Underwood in his sick fucking Pegasus cosplay. There is a lot of people coming after you. How did they communicate this to everyone? The phone is not even an invention yet. Actually, Alexander Graham Bell is a fucking top-notch lad, alright? Yeah, but he even said in this game that he's not created the telephone yet. I know he's not created the telephone yet, but he's got fucking other means of transportation. Yeah, of what I'm work. asking is, how did they tell each other to be here? They don't have phones. Because they got on the fucking the didgeridoo and were like, Oh my god! You've never heard a didgeridoo before, have you? Because I'm pretty sure the strange blah 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 noise you made there doesn't come from a didgeridoo. Wow! I'm pretty sure you come from a fucking didgeridoo. Um, did you see that car? It ended up inside a lamppost and shit. That is ridiculous. I think push shots work. I'd be better off aiming. Except it does work. It does, but I'm better off aiming. Yeah. It's just for if you're panicked and you want to guarantee to not miss. If you're panicked. Can you shoot the horse? Uh, I don't want to kill the horse. Yeah, but if you kill the horse, it might make the car flip and they'll die and it'll look cool. What if I kill you? Then you'll be streaming on your own and you're shite at that. Fucking desired. Are you denying it? No. Well then. But yeah, you should shoot the horse and see if I it works. I can't do things that on my own. 
Oh, that poor horse was following. Don't kill that one. It's got nobody riding it. God, what is wrong with you? Christ. Kill the horse! Oh! Hey, Siobhan! Don't kill the horse! Hey! Dickhead! Don't kill the horse! Stuart says, I really should stream my PS1 well, collection. I have some hidden gems Thanks for the invitation. and shared. And some again. really bad games that need to be shared. Damn. Oh yes. What? <laughs> she just bashed her head off the top of that <laughs> thing and knocked herself out. And her brother comes onto the roof of the train and it's just her... Her upper body minus a head smeared all over the roof. You want to know what Stu's really saying? He's really saying that he needs to, you know, share himself playing some Jewel Quest. That's what I think. Ooh. That's me getting back into position. I've got an itchy nose. Uh, Don't look my arm, you fucking weirdos. I said earlier I was going to do it. It's not that whole you weren't prepared. I hate you more. I feel sorry for anyone who's just like joining into these streams and we're sat here telling each other how much we hate each other because it's not true. It's a little bit true. Fuck off, dickhead. Dog, stop licking your ween. We fixed up the tree. Yo, Boobal, like stop sucking you your own penis. And my wee sister, the you do that? Oh, the can. Can. Like, just leave that ah! Just because it's cold. Look at that top hat on a stick. That's my favourite part of this train. Look, I like the top. I, I just said that I do too. Why did you say look like I offended you? Look! I'd rather do enjoy most. What is with all the fucking shiny metallic pictures you've got? Also, who's the dude who looks like his name was Salami? Uh, it'll be Starrick. He's the main villain. Oh, why can't you just, like, find him and stab him? This is the assassination wall. I can pick who to... Who's, who's the lady? <laughs> uh, I can't go to her yet. Oh, so she's also important then? Uh, is that, like, his wife, maybe? I don't know. I think she's quite important. So why can't you just find Starrick walking about in the street and giving him a, a little chib? Just give him the half day of some milk, is it? Yep. I'm feeling a bit cooped up in here. Stuart yelled, sorry, did you say Jewel Quest? Yes. Are you going to be playing it by ear? Or are you going to be playing it by the... Ah, that's a... You know, uh, you know what, I'm totally going to do that one. Uh, but I'm going to go and quickly check... Uh... My Fetching outfit, I must say. sick assassin wardrobe. Because if there's an option to play dress up, you, why is everything that you own rather unwell? My utterly, utterly bodacious assassin wardrobe. I don't think anyone's used the term bodacious since like the 1920s. Why not? Because it's a dumb word. Just like the ones who used it. I feel like you're. You. I feel like you're trying to to hint at something here. Like you're a fool, Mr. Grinch. Uh, Stu says I used to play far too much Joe Quest. I'm not sure I'm ready to go back. Don't go back, Stuart. Y you won't be able to escape again. That's a lovely looking kukri. But that one has pointy bits. But look at this one. That one looks look shit. That one. that one looks great. That one looks shit. That one looks great. That one looks shit. That one looks great. That actually does look pretty cool. A bit flashy though. I'll be flashy if I want. Stop flashing. You damn half human, half strobe light. You damn dirty whore. I mean, uh. You lovely, lovely person. What was your favorite game to play growing up? Probably Spyro. Uh, you're the dragon. Do you have any particularly fond memories of said game? It's fucking not Spyro, dude. C can I can I quit? Well, I mean, you can quit if you want. I mean, it's probably a bad cool idea. Cool boy. No, I'm kidding. I can't equip that yet because I'm not level six. Stuart says, I have a PS1 game where you manage a pop group and you can create your own tunes. I bought it last summer and I've yet to play it. That sounds like something that I would watch on stream. I would watch you play that, dude. I would listen in, I'd sing along to all your songs. I'd be like, hey, Stuart! So yeah, any particular favourite levels in Spiral? Uh, Year of Tedargon. 
You know what, doing Sheila's like sort of like little side mini stuff was super fun and I actually have 100%ed that game a couple of times, like got in every gem, every dragon nice. egg, all that sort of stuff. So I really enjoyed doing that and that is not what I'm wanting to do. I'm going to quickly check my levels. Your level fell off. I know, I suck. Hey, I ain't here to judge. Are you sure? Yeah, you can put whatever you want in your mouth. I hate you. Oh, yeah, yeah. Some people like lollies, some people like buttons. I hate some your judge. People... In that I case, I will stream that soon, but hate. only if you write the lyrics and sing the lyrics and be the lyrics, Siobhan. Yeah, I will be the lyrics. I've right, got to go. be the eagle. I've got to be the eagle. Be I've got the to swallow. There's a bee in my be shoe. What film's that from, Siobhan? Snake in my boot. No, it's from fucking Power Rangers. It's Bulk and Skull about to jump out of the plane when they're doing the skydiving bit at the start, but they're actually scared and then they fall out of the fucking plane. I've never watched that. You may have oh, not found a piece of um, evil, right. but this no offense, dude, is but... I sometimes, like, even though the story is intriguing and interesting and I actually give a shit, sometimes I just don't give a shit. That dog can't even look at you right now. <laughs> Some, right. Other people of the human race. Sometimes you just have to skip a cutscene, right? Sometimes and you... before our fucking, our stream gets raided by like 40,000 people all yelling, No, stay on the cutscene, you fucking dunce. Sometimes... You just really you know, don't want to watch a cinema. I think you know what I mean? No. I'm away hunting for it to me. Ken, so, the pirate. That. Sometimes I just can't be fucked. The master assassin, the pirate. You, you got to find the jackdaw sculpture. Yeah. That's your bolt from the last game, I which know. was called How much Assassin's Creed. Blake Foley. My flag. But the assassin might say that's not true. I've never heard of one being in London. Who is this guy chatting to you? What's his name again? Green? Uh, I think it's Henry. Is his last first name Henry? Henry Green. So it's possible. All I remember is that you no. call him Greeny. Yeah, Jacob calls him Greeny. Um, it's Mr. Green. I can't remember. I think his first name might be Henry, but also I think I might be getting him confused with Henry Green, the YouTuber. That is very possible. Um, he is called Green. He is called Green. He is, he is Green. Edward's son, Haven, joined the Templars. But, um, when he died, going back to our original topic that you keep distracting me from, with your, you with your with your weird words. I think this uh, is it. Oh, there it is. I think you're right. You found it. Hold on. Oh, don't hit me. Girl. Um, who is that? I think that's the lady from, you know, like the web that people. Makes getting oh, the yeah. You still intend to enter. If this is a Templar um, stronghold, yeah. it won't get any easier. Another old game that I Don't used worry. to really like, that I'm not We're sure if you ever well got to play at all, was like the old Metal Gear Solid games and stuff. I've not played any Metal Gear Solid. Don't say that while Stuart's in the chat room. Pardon me, it's okay. I know Stu has kind of like an addiction issue. Yeah. Um. I'm just, I'm waiting on Stuart's furious comment now. I'll go and s Sonic Boom right up to the fucking rooftop. Sonic Boom! Sonic Boom! I'm not gonna lie, do you know what one thing that I'll always say in defense of the Sonic games, especially Sonic Heroes? They boom. had a damn good soundtrack. What about Boom? They had boom? a good soundtrack. You wanna Boom? I don't wanna play it, but I'll definitely listen to the soundtrack. You wanna, you wanna, you wanna play Boom? I'll kill you. You wanna play Sonic Boom? What about a hey, Boo Boo? Get us a pick of the basket. What other, what other games could you have possibly played because they were on the PS1? Crash Bandicoot was good. I ne The only Crash Bandicoot ca uh, game that I can remember playing because I owned it was uh, Nitro Kart Racing. But I know, like, I had friends who had, like, um... Uh, what's it fucking called? Like, just they had, like, regular Crash games. So when it gets re-released on the PS4, which is totally happening, I'm gonna be fucking excited. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna play it. I'm gonna play it properly. My auntie had it for the PS1, and whenever I used to go and stay with them, I would get up in the morning and have cereal and play the game. So, 
Do you ever have any of those memories where you can, like, you can remember eating something so much that you almost taste it? Like, you can almost, like, simulate the taste in your mouth even though you're not eating it. Uh... Like, with anything, or even, like, a drink or a smell or something, you can, like, you can almost smell or taste the thing even though you're not smelling or tasting it because your memory of it is that good. Uh, maybe, yeah, actually. Because I have that, but about, uh, especially things like playing the first Crash Bandicoot and eating cereal. I can almost taste the cereal I had. I think it was cornflakes. But I remember playing through the first game and being terrible at it, and getting older and being good at it. Uh, but we had, like, Crash Bandicoot, and then we had things like Warped, Crash Team Racing. It was good. Yeah. The PS1 was a great console. Yeah, I think I missed out on quite a lot of, like, the... The, uh, like, the, the main sort of games that The people... Golden Age. Yeah. Well, like, I missed out on, like... Well, obviously, because I never... Why did I... Kidnap that dude? Did I kill him? No, you killed the fuck out of him. Good. Something from Edward Kenway's like kidnapped time. Him. I'm worried that Stuart hasn't replied to the fact that you haven't played Metal <laughs> Gear yet. I can only assume they're about to get a fucking wall of text that's gonna be like... Yeah. Why is Siobhan on this show? Kick Siobhan off of Blake's show. I think oh. that Blake should get kicked off of Siobhan's show. Getting good at Crash Bandicoot games is overrated. That's why I've never got it good. Stuart's completely like... I think he may have suffered so much trauma from your statement that he's a... Uh, he's like done that thing where she he mentally blocks it altogether. and he can't remember it. Wait, he yelled? <laughs> Uh oh, I think you're in trouble. <laughs> what are you even doing? Oh. Aside from stabbing people in the spleen. They well, one of the optional objectives is to discover all of uh, Kenway's oh, memorabilia. And then I've also got to get the thingy of the jackdaws. I'm just wandering around examining all of Kenway's <clears throat> Hold on, I need to read this out word for word. Okay. I was away to the toilet. You haven't... Pa a pal ed metal digi gilrst sold fed question mark exclamation mark use the ag tree this do to me which roughly translates to Stuart can't believe that you haven't played any of the Metal Gear Solid games oh I'm sorry what, was it, what else was it? You've never played a Legend of Zelda game, have you? Uh, no, I had one for the DS, right? And I think maybe it was like a remake of the first one that came out for the DS. And I don't remember really enjoying it because I didn't really have any idea what the fuck was going on. But I feel like I would enjoy like later Zelda games. You'd probably enjoy all of them. They all still hold up pretty damn well. Yeah. Well, so that's like the only experience with um, Zelda that I've had. I've never really played a Mario game. Uh, my sister had one for the Wii, and I played it a little bit. Um, I can't believe you missed out on games like Super Mario Sunshine and Super Mario 64. I missed and out Super on Mario like, 6 Gold Coins. I missed out on like Super Mario Jeff Goldblum, Super Mario Up the Kaiser, Super Mario Jesus is Back, Super Mario... <laughs> Backstreet's Back, the sequel to Jesus is Back. Oh, I accidentally got the objective. You've not played the original Doom, have you? Nope. Ultimate Doom 2. What are we looking nope. for? Ultimate Doom? The only Doom that I've played is the PS4 one. Doom? So you haven't played Doom 3 either. You've not played any of the Resident Evil games barring 6. Um, have you played any of the Silent Hill games? No, I've not played any of the Silent Hill games. I've watched... What horror series games have you played? Complete the piano puzzle without hitting a false note. You already did it wrong. Use your eggle vision. It doesn't. It's not doing anything. Alright. I bet you I can do it on square. my first try, no, ready? Not square. That was easy. I'm not a piano player! Stuart says, I've never played a Doom. 
YouTube Not both missed out. Like, the original Doom was in 10. I actually had it on both the PS1. I think I still have that, actually. The original PS1 one. And I had it on the Game Boy Advance. And both of them were, like, per Well, the Game Boy Advance one was a perfect, pardon me, recreation of the original. Siobhan plays the... Siobhan plays the hits. I love this one. <laughs> I'm talking about you on the piano with your <laughs> noise. <laughs> Pirate flag on the wall. I win. Yeah, there's Frosty Jacks all over the wall. Um, wow, that was another game series I was going to ask about that you haven't... You haven't played Silent Hill. Haven't played Resident Evil. Um, haven't played Doom. I haven't played any Final Fantasy, which we talked about on the uh, Platinum Final demo Fantasy stream. stream. Yeah, I Can't believe I played it. the Platinum demo. Have I told you how excited I am about the fucking Final Fantasy Twelve remake that's coming out? Uh, you vaguely said that you were excited, but I never actually heard. I never really like got all right it's there. Um, I am too hyped because twelve was my favorite, and I'll always stand by that. I'm quite excited for fifteen coming out because it looks good, and um, I think I'll enjoy it. It'll probably be a good entry into the Final Fantasy series for you. The history of the London Assassins. But also, I like vaults. Like I've probably said before, but I love the way the PS4 like works. I love the controller and stuff. Well, if people watch the uh, the Final Fantasy 15 stream, one thing that we found out when I took over to try fighting that boss was like, you can use your teleporty sword to teleporty sword up to the tops of roofs and jump on people with it. Yeah. Teleporty sword is like my fave. That's why it's just why I want to do. So I have to pet the dog because look at me being adored. Stuart says, I'm trying to get all the tropes for Final Fantasy VII for PS4, so much grind ahead of me. I feel sorry for you. I have Final Fantasy VII on the PC, which I got on Steam, and like nine tenths of me wants to go back and play it again, but that one tenth of me reminds me that I spent like 500 hours in that game and I don't want to do it again. Like, I just can't bring myself to do it as much as I kind of want to. I thought you preferred to stay out of field work. You're doing a very good job of stabbing people. I was thinking Thank more you. of you. Well, now you're mother. hiding in the tunnels. I shall provide a well, planning I'm running assistance through a tunnel. From the train. Siobhan's mm -hmm. mom's home. Jacob's off marauding. Really find my this. Oh, get your mum as a special guest on the stream. Look at the, look at the dog shuffle his butt. Yeah, I did it. The PS4 version at least has a button that speeds the entire game up by three times. Oh, well. That's actually very useful. Does it still have the same graphics where everyone was made up of, like, four different polygons? I hope so. Wait, people have big square hands? Can you still rename your characters in it as well? Because I was super original and called Barrett Mr. T. Also a button that activates god mode, but I refuse to use it out of principle. I want this platinum to be earned with hard work. Oh, so you can like god mode, but still get the platinum? I suppose that's pretty cool if like, I might get it just for the fact that I can god mode through it and not waste my time. <laughs> and by waste my time, I mean spend hundreds and hundreds of hours grinding up to be as powerful as I can be and getting all the things. Look at that dog. He's such a pretty dog. He is, and he has a uh, scratchable fur. Yeah. Uh, yes, it's still the exact same game otherwise. Oh, bitch. That might be good for you to play, actually. Yeah. Because it's a good game, but like the controls are obviously a bit old and clunky, but that actually makes it kind of fun. Alright. Um, you should also play things like the original Resident Evil. I have like the remaster on my PC, which is fun to play, but it's not the same. I am quite excited about the new game that I think either is coming out or just came out. Oh no, it came out today, Umbrella Core. Oh, yeah. Which is like, no, I don't know anything about it, I'm just excited because it exists. Oh, uh, I don't know anything about it. Oh, I just work it off the train. You to get off the train, but yeah. you're, you're in too deep. Because as, as I'm in one. too deep, I can't get off the train. Because you're in too deep and you've got two feet on the end of your legs because I am eating tuna I don't know 
Your songs are so bad, but I am gonna chunder. Haha, <laughs> yeah, because it rhymes with the original song. It's funny because... Fun fact, the rarest trophy in the game is the one for going on a date with Barrett. Nice. The one thing I liked about uh, Final Fantasy VII was it had a scene where Cloud has to dress up as a girl, but he's like originally seems to be a bit like don't want to about it, but he kind of like gets on board with it. And also, he has to he does it to like trick this dude because this dude likes blonde girls, so Cloud becomes a blonde girl. But also, like him and Cloud go to the bedroom, and Cloud's totally down with what's gonna happen until his fucking team burst in and ruin the moment. And a lot of people have, like, taken that as speculation that Cloud's either, like, bisexual or at least just enjoys cross-dressing. Because he seems to just... he gets right on with it and he doesn't mind. And I'm okay with it because, you know... Oh! Wait, is that... You just shoved that man in the war. Oh, I also assassinated that man who was supposed to take back alive. Yeah, you have to go and pick up Emmett Sedgwick. Uh, see, what I wanted to do, I just wanted to go and fucking synchronize my fucking viewpoint. Nah, just take em Emmett Sedgwick on a fucking date, why don't you? Chuck him in the war. Sure you can. You just shouldn't, that's what you're saying. I didn't even know that he was like a proper target, I didn't realise I was that close to like a mission. Ooh, right, take visitation. Alright, okie doke. We're streaming. Okay, you, you, can, you can talk about your thing. Oh, it's fine. Well, I'll get I'll get phone at some point. Um, yeah, we weren't fucked like that. I died. That's alright. No, it's fine. Shop with fucking widget. Oh god. At least you weren't fucking bored as fuck. Oh, no, fucking no, no fucking days I've been bored. Fun fact today, I resized boxes of shoes. Oh. Yeah, it was fucking fortune. Five day, and there's still three of us on the tell it was that fucking busy. And Abdi also. <laughs> no, no, it's Abdi cloaked out of our apartment because I was still sitting on the tell waiting for people to get out of the show. Mm. Get at me. Like you do. Like you do. So it was. Extremely busy today for some reason. Anyway, yes, because they can that you were working. Just to come and see you. That's some some right funny as well. I'll tell you what you're doing. Oh fuck you, doing you. Anyway, right, I'm like it. All right. Do you need anything I've got out there? No, not that I can think of. No. Nah, I'm good. Thank you. Me. That was my mum. Best stream guest you could ever ask for. Dude, I she just like called fucking uh, customers a home bargains fannies and that. To be fair, most customers just are. Like some customers are genuinely lovely, and I've had my fair share of lovely customers, but some of them are right fannies. Um, Stuart said, depending on your choices in that scene, I don't know how you pronounce it, but I'm sure it's Como. Will ask why Cloud is hesitant. He'll ask, is there someone else? And Cloud will respond with, yes, his name is Barrett. Then your pal burst in and ruin the mood. <laughs> so that fucking guy thinks he's about to get it on with this girl, and he's like, is there someone else? And this girl is like, yes, he is a large man of colour with a gun arm named Barrett. And then Como's like, I'm just a regular man with regular arms. I can't compete with wedging six barrels up your vagoobling and spinning them round and giving you what I can only call the twister. That sounds fucking horrifying. Well, thank God you're not going on a date with Barrett then, unless you want to, like, mount his robo-arm and spin around ungraciously until you fly off like a fucking upside-down Beyblade. Where the fuck is the target? Oh, there uh, I don't know. I, or do you not like my Beyblade comment? Hey, listen, you leave Dragoon alone. You leave Dragoon alone. I won't. I will not leave Did Dragoon you ever alone. play the, any of the PS1 demos that came in, like, magazines and with, um, like, boxes of cereal back when they used to do that? I had a Disney one. Oh. A Disney demo, and it had, like, demos for the Aladdin game and Monsters, Inc. And I had the, the Monsters, Inc. demo. Game. Was the Monsters, pardon me, the Monsters Inc. one, was that the one where you started off outside and you had to like run and jump around and stuff? Yeah! I had that one. And then you were like in the scare factory. Yeah! I couldn't get past that though because I was a kid who didn't understand what was going on. He just bonked you in the fucking know, nose. Oh, you, yeah. wow, you flipped. I know. Okay, I think 
so here is a good place. I bought a bunch of those demos last summer too. Stuart bought a bunch of those demos last summer too. Stuart played them all. <gasps> I want to watch. We know what Stuart did last summer. He bought oh! a lot of demos. <laughs> <laughs> I think here is a good place to swap games since yeah. I keep dying to fucking coppers. And Unless you want to try one on. more time. No. Nope. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Fun fact: I just almost threw the fucking controller. Yeah, you did. I had a mild heart attack. Go on, try it one more time. I don't want to. Ah. I'll do it another time. Before we go on, the only thing I want to say is, like, I don't know if anyone has heard of it, but we had a ton of these demos for something called Net Eurosi. And it was fucking weird, and they were all, like, I'm guessing they were all, like, independent game makers games, because there were some really weird ones. Like, my favourite one was called Psycon, and it was a top-down game where you do the shooting, and, uh... It was like, it was crazy because you could just run and shoot things, but there was also like fake walls you could walk through and Siobhan just left the room and like, I don't know, it was good. Straight so Monsters Inc. for the PS2, it's not a bad game, it's not a good game, it's just a game. It is just game. Uh, we'll be shutting off the stream in a few minutes for like half a minute to switch over games so that for like for uh, exporting to YouTube we don't have to like split the video in two. Yeah, so we're gonna stop this, stop game discs, and then be back in a minute. Yep. Bye. Toodaloo.